subscribe to our solution tips, SOP advice, and ERP glossary. Businesses need to coordinate with purchasing department, manufacturing department, and delivery to customers. To help them, many use a material requirements planning system or we call it a MRP. So, in this video, we will explore what is an MRP system and what is the step in the MRP process. Let's take an example here. Peter owns a company that makes t-shirts. He has to buy a lot of materials to make his t-shirts. The material, the track, the ink for all, all the design. Yeah. So, and also many other materials. So Peter worried that his business is too complicated and it's not just the material from different vendors that he has to buy. He wonder how he can keep track of what he needs to be ordered, what needs to be made and what needs to be delivered to his customer. Okay, so Peter might want to use a material requirements planning system or MRP, which is a computer based system to coordinate purchasing, manufacturing and delivery in a company. So with an MRP, Peter can easily see what he needs to order from his supplier and how many t-shirts he needs to make and what he needs to deliver to the store that order from him, right? How does an MRP system can work for him or help him? Let's look at the scheduling and this MRP process. First, we are going to talk about scheduling first. Peter's business has a lot of moving parts, right? So, he has to order materials, put the material together to make his t-shirts, then move the t-shirts from his warehouse or factory to his customers. That means the store who will ultimately sell these t-shirts to the people who will wear them. Okay, so how can Peter coordinate with all this? And more specifically, he can have more specifically, how can he make sure that his schedule meets the needs of his customers? Okay, so in MRP, there are two ways of scheduling, which we call it a backward or a forward scheduling. Okay, let me explain the backward scheduling. Backward scheduling involves the starting with the date that the store needs to have the product on the shelf and working backward from there. Yeah, so for example, if a store call Peter and tell Peter that they need to have the t-shirts on their shelf in 45 days, then Peter can work a backward scheduling from there. All right, if he knows that it takes about five days to deliver the t-shirts to the store or maybe 27 days to manufacture an item or the size, that the store needs and maybe another 10 days to order and receive the material then peter can work up the back work to figure out that he need to order from supplier in the next three days to have that order delivery on time okay so as for backward scheduling it works like if you do not have a specific deadline to meet Okay, for example, what if Peter's customer call and say they don't have any deadline, but they would like to have the t-shirt order as soon as possible. Then Peter could use forward scheduling, which involves calculating a schedule based on the starting date of the manufacturing process, right? So for example, Peter can calculate that he will need to order the material in three days. He will have the material in 10 days. Take 27 days to manufacture the t-shirts and another five days for delivery. Thus, Peter can then tell the clients that 
they will have the order in their hands in 45 days. All right. So now let's talk about the MRP process. Peter now understand the forward and the backward scheduling. Mm -hmm. So he's still not sure how to use an MRP to help him to coordinate all the different parts of the manufacturing process. What are the steps for manufacturing for us? What are, what are the steps for material requirements planning? So is a computer-based program. There are certain steps that the computer goes through and inputs that Peter needs to put into the computer. Okay, so what are the things that Peter needs to put into the computer? There are step one, net requirements calculations. Okay, so the first thing that the computer must do is to calculate the net requirements or how many units are needed to meet an order. This might seem straightforward is Peter gets an order for 1,000 t-shirts. Then the net requirement should be 1,000, right? Well, maybe Peter have another 300 t-shirts already made or maybe he has another 300 t-shirts is already on hands in the warehouse. So in this case, the net requirements will be 700, all right? So which we use the 1,000 minus the 300 on hand equivalent to 700 t-shirts so this is the net requirements calculations so the calculations for the net requirements is the total number of units needed minus the available stock okay so step two is the bill of material calculations after the net requirements the mrp program will need peter to help to figure out the bill of materials or how much of each raw material needs to be purchased for each unit's manufacturers. Okay, so for example, Peter might need 1.5 yards of material and 4 ounces of red paint for each t-shirt's manufacturer. He would input this information into the computer system. So together with all the net requirements, the bill of materials tell the MRP program how much in the way of materials that Peter actually needed. Okay, so step three is the scheduling. As we have already discussed just now, the scheduling can be done in two ways. Okay, which is the backward scheduling and also the forward scheduling. Uh, either way, Peter will input information into the system such as the fact that it takes about five days for the products to be delivered to the store and the computer will figure out the scheduling calculations. All right. So now we are talking about step four. Step four is the forecast calculations. All right. Finally, based on all the information scattered together. So in the previous uh, three step, the MRP will tell Peter what to order and when to order. All right. So, let's review again the lesson summary, what you have learned here. A material requirements planning system, or we call it MRP, is a computer-based system to coordinate with purchasing, manufacturing, and delivery in a company. Okay? So, in MRP, there are two ways of scheduling uh, in the manufacturing process. So, what are the two ways? The backward scheduling which is involved with the date that the store need to have the product on the shelf and working backward from there. All right, so this is called the backward scheduling. Okay, so another one is the forward scheduling, which is involved calculating a schedule based on the starting date of the manufacturing process. Okay, now we come to the step of material requirements planning. Okay, this step include step one, is the net requirements calculations, which is involved figure out the net requirements or how many units are needed to meet an order. Step two is the bill material calculations, which involve figuring out the bill materials or how much of each raw material needed to be purchased for each unit manufacturers. Step three, we are talking about the scheduling, which just now we have already discussed the two types of scheduling method. Yeah. So step four is the forecast calculations. 
All right. So this video is to assist your company to understand the step in the material requirements planning process. Feel free to join our private group and discuss what you need to solve your material planning challenges in your manufacturing process. Okay, so the QR code is located in the lower right hand corner of this video. So as always, if you like this video or you learn something new, give me a thumbs up and subscribe with notifications. Alright, so my name is Vivian. I love to see you back.